welcome to our second Synage commu um, IO community meetup. So happy to have you all in the call. I see people are still joining, so very good. So uh, as Phil mentioned, my name is Andre Schreiner. I'm part of the Synage IO team. I'm helping to drive the vision and strategy of the uh, project. And with our partners, the community and contributors, we are also very keen to collect your input, your feedback to decide where should we go next. So since the last meetup, we have added a lot of great new uh, capabilities in ThinHIO, and that's what I want to give you a quick overview on today. So where do we stand with the project and especially focus on the latest features in 0 0.5? Right, so for the ones who might be very new to the project and the community, I want to emphasize uh, the main objectives of ThinHIO. So with ThinHIO, we want to make device enablement easy and at the same time without creating any ecosystem or platform lock-in for you. To achieve this, we are building a modular lightweight IoT device framework, that's why we call it Thin, as a foundation for your IoT project. It can be deployed on resource-constrained devices. You see some examples here, such as PLC or protocol gateways, and allows out-of-the-box connectivity and most importantly, device management features for the specific device without relying on a specific IoT platform. Uh, and this is where ThinHIO can, can help you. So now most of, you, most of you have seen this, but when developing ThinHIO, we focus on a set of key principles, uh, which are freedom of choice uh, regarding programming languages, message payloads, and the platform, um, a comprehensive and extensible device management with a plugin mechanism to also handle different uh, and support different uh, software artifacts types that need to be managed on such devices and being modular and efficient in terms of resource consumption on the device itself. That means a very low CPU and memory footprint. And all of this, what we're talking about is offered as extensible and also ready to use uh, components uh, supported and driven by the partners involved, but also by the community. Now let's take a quick look on where we stand today and then focus more on the 0 0.5 release highlights. Um, let's start with the MQTT interfaces. Here we are using um, a MQTT broker with various data mappers to handle the cloud uh, connection, but also the inter-service communication. So you can uh, use the simplified ThinEdge JSON MQTT payload um, format, and you do not have to worry about adapting to different payload standards or services or IoT pl platforms if a corresponding cloud mapper exists. We also support so-called child devices, also called leaf devices in, in some platforms or downstream devices. So devices, for example, a sensor or asset connected to ThinEdge via a field bus protocol uh, can, re can be represented um, as an own device in the corresponding IoT platform. Now, regarding the IoT platform connectivity itself, we started with Azure IoT and Cumulosity IoT, so two mappers that are available today. You can uh, use them also as a reference. Uh, and this um, supports really out-of-the-box connectivity, a quick registration and connectivity to those platforms which are um, uh, yeah, easy to connect to. Uh, but ThinHIO, I want to emphasize that is not bound to any of those platforms and can be easily extended with additional mappers. So another focus area where we did a lot of development uh, was the area of device management, starting with including a flexible monitoring powered by Collect D, an industry proven uh, monitoring library with uh, extensions, uh, a software management agent, uh, which offers a plugin mechanism um, uh, and we will deep dive on that later in the session. Um, and also first plugins to manage Debian packages, for example, or uh, we also have a Docker, a Docker plugin example. Now, now um, for the ease of use to allow the thin edge to be easy to use with few commands, we added a command line interface. So um, by uh, using those commands, you can install, you can connect ThinEdge to your IoT platform and, and do certain configurations, and we automate a lot of things behind the scenes. 
Now, coming to the other modules where ThinEdge can interact with um, uh, plugins or examples, uh, other software that might be running on a device, we have a first great contributions, demos and prototypes coming from the community. Uh, one of them will be shown today uh, also by the Software AG colleagues uh, on Apama Streaming Analytics uh, and other examples um, uh, you have seen in the last meetup already. Uh, um, for example, OT connectivity with IPCOM devices using Node-RED with ThinEdge, but there are also a lot of good examples in our example repository. Great. Now let's focus on the uh, release highlights in 0 0.5. What have we added? So first of all, I already mentioned we uh, included the option to create device hierarchies. Um, so that means you can represent a child or leaf devices uh, that are connected to ThinEdge itself in the overarching IoT platform. Uh, you can declare what a device is capable of and report that to IoT platforms as well. This is very useful. Uh, um, then uh, minor things that are also very important, triggering device restarts, uh, but also um, uh, handling log files for the software management. So if you want to see whether software uh, updates um, were successful or you want to check if there are any problems, you also have those logs available. We did a lot of extensions, especially for the Comlosti IT uh, mapper. And last but not least, a very important uh, a change we have made is uh, remo remove the dependency on system D. So you can use ThinHIO with your preferred Linux uh, init system. So you can adapt it. And there are also uh, very good um, tutorials and documentation on how to do that uh, in our documentation. Now, how do you get started? Um, best thing to do is obviously to go on GitHub, um, but also check out our docs. You can find it uh, at the top of the page, ThinEdge.io. Um, there you can find a lot of useful stuff, how to use ThinEdge, uh, how to connect your device. Uh, we have tutorials and how-to guides. And uh, you also will find great developer guides on how you can extend ThinEdge, um, uh, how mappers work, um, So and of course, how to build your own plugins uh, or how to run ThinEdge on other Linux systems or hardware. So check it out. Um, yeah, now before ending, I want to emphasize again, we really want your feedback, your input. Where should we go next? Um, so what do you miss? Um, uh, and uh, what use cases are also uh, important to you. Uh, to give us input, you have, um, yeah, first of all, you have the option to uh, um, look at our roadmap. This contains the um, topics that we want to work on in the next one or two releases that we as a maintainer group decided to, to go based on, on other community feedback, right? But you can also create and vote for new ideas and, and features. And uh, for this, we use GitHub Discussion. Discussions. So if you go in into the uh, GitHub project uh, and click on discussions, you can create your own ideas, you can vote uh, for existing ideas, and you can also take part in the discussions with us um, uh, and, and uh, read what others uh, think and um, comment it on. Now, um, how can you contribute and how can we collaborate? If you are interested in ThinHIO and joining us, um, uh, we already work with various partners and we try to grow the list. So if you believe in the idea behind ThinEdge, no matter if you want to use it or if you want to contribute to it, uh, to it uh, reach out to me uh, on, on, in Discord, for example, and we can discuss how to best collaborate. As you can see, there are different models possible apart, apart from the obvious one, becoming a contributor to the project. We are also looking for investment partners who might be interested in a strategic collaboration uh, or solution partners who want to use ThinEdge as part of their product or service. And of course, hardware and gateway partners are really important to us. So um, partners who also want to uh, build in ThinEdge into their devices. Now, thanks a lot and back to you, Phil, and the other sessions.